Hello. Hello, Zikin Sam. How are you all? So, I am missing you, all, you guys. So, today we are going to discuss about Act 4, Scene 4. We have remaining act also, that is Act 4, Scene 5. So, I will be discussing today about Act 4, Scene 4 and if possible, I am going to complete Scene 5 too. So, let us discuss the text. So, the scene, the setting is a green. Green means a grassy plot. We find here Faustus and Mephistopheles. So, Faustus is saying to Mephistopheles. Please have the text with you. Now, Mephistopheles, the restless course, the time doth run with calm and silent foot, shortening my days and thread of vital life, calls for the payment of my latest years. Therefore, sweet Mephistopheles, let us make haste to wet and bark. So, Faustus is saying to Mephistopheles that, now Mephistopheles, time never stops but runs its course calmly and silently, reducing the duration of my active life and bringing my end nearer. Now, he's been conscious, you see, because his time is coming very near because he has signed a bid with, the, with Saturn. Time now demands that I should get ready for my death after spending the remaining years of my life. Therefore, sweet Mephistopheles, let us hurry up and go to Wet and Bark. Now he is having a feeling to go to Wet and Bark because he was born in Rose and brought up in Wet and Bark. It was in the first act, scene one. Now Mephistopheles is replying to him. Would you like to travel on horseback or on foot? He is asking to Faustus. Faustus is saying, nay, till I am past this fear and pleasure in green, I will walk on foot. So he is saying that, no, I shall go on across this beautiful and pleasant grassy area on foot. That means he, he prefers going on foot, that is walking. Now the scene changes a little bit, you see, the setting changes. We find here, like enter a horse courser. Now it's a comic scene. Horse courser means horse dealer. Now this person comes here to buy a horse from Faustus. So the horse courser, courser says to Faustus, I have been all these days seeking one master Fustian. Now he cannot pronounce properly, pronounce properly Faustus. So he's saying master Fustian. Must see where he is. God save you, master doctor. So he's saying that, where is he? That means he is searching for Dr. Faustus. Now Faustus is replying, What, horse courser? You are well met. He is saying, What, a horse courser? It is good that you have come to meet me. It is fine. Horse courser is saying, Do you hear, sir? I have bought, I have bought you $40 for your horse. That means you want to pay $40 to buy a horse from Faustus. You know? And Faustus is saying, I cannot sell him so. If thou likest him for 50 take him so if they're having a some type of bargaining the horse courser is saying that he's going to pay fosters for the particular horse 40 dollars but fosters is demanding 50 dollars so there was a bargaining between them the horse courser is saying alas sir i have no more i pray you speak for me now, mephistopheles, mephistopheles was there so he's saying to mephistopheles please i have only 40 dollars please say to your master that he give me the horse uh, and, and i can give him only 40 dollars so he's requesting Mephistopheles to say to Faustus. Faustus is saying, Mephistopheles is saying, I pray you, let him have him. He is an honest fellow and he has a great charge, neither wife nor child, you see. Now here, Mephistopheles is criticizing or you can say a type of mocking. He uh, is mocking to the horse courser. He is saying the horse courser is a very honest man and he has got a, res he has got a responsibility because he don't have any neither wife nor children because a person has have the responsibility when he have a wife or a family. But this person don't have anything. So, Mephistopheles is mocking. And Foster says that, well, come, give me your money. So, the horse courser gives Foster the money. My boy will deliver him to you. That means he is saying my horse keeper is going to deliver you my horse but i must tell you one thing before you have it ride him not into the water at any hand now keeping a condition first is selling my boy is going to give you or to deliver you the horse but one thing you remember don't take the horse in water okay he's saying to this person to the horse horse sir 
the horse goes on why sir will he not drink of all waters why the horse is not going to drink water so he was very much shocked and surprised why Faustus is saying not to take the horse in water Faustus said oh yes he will think he will drink of all waters but ride him not into the water ride him over hedge or ditch or where thou wilt but not into the water he is saying okay the horse can drink water there is no problem of it but the thing is that you ride anywhere you may it may be in the hedges in the jungle in the ditches but never ride the horse in water so the horse courser so the horse courser is saying well sir now I am a made man forever. I will not leave my horse for 40. Well, you know, I am going to take, I am paying you and you give me the horse immediately. I will take it away. If he had but the, the quality of, uh, of head ding ding, head ding ding, he's singing a song uh, like head ding ding, head ding ding. I would make a brave living on him. Well, good, but be here, yes, sir. Your boy will deliver him, him me. But hark you, sir, if my horse be sick, or ill at ease you will tell me what it is so you say okay sir I know that your boy is going to deliver me the horse but the thing is that if the horse gets sick what I am going to do that that means if my horse gets sick what I am going to say to you that means definitely I'm going to come coming I'm going to come to you for your help so the first course the heart so fosters get angry so foster says that anyway you villain what does think I am a horse doctor do you think that I'm a horse doctor that I am I'm going to treat uh, treat your horse so you better go away. So exit the horse courser. The first again Foster is saying, Where art thou, Fosters? But a man condemned to die. The Foster is saying, The the fatal time doth sought to final end. Despair doth drive distrust into my thoughts. Confounded this patience with a quiet sleep. Thus Christ did call the thief upon the cross. Then rest the Fosters quite in concert. Now Faustus is saying to himself, you know, see, after the horse courser goes away, he's, he's just like a soliloquy he's speaking to himself. He's saying that I am nothing but a man condemned to die. He's saying to himself, the time had, the time had, that fate had allotted me in about to come to an end, or that particular period, that is 24 years, is coming, is coming to an end, you know. I have lost all hope, and as a consequence of that, distrust marks my thinking, for my thinking is, is, uh, is vitiated by this distrust. That means he is in great depression now. Let me try to silence this agitation by sleeping peacefully because you want to sleep, you don't want to get disturbed and you don't want to think about these things anymore. Let me let me not give up all hope. After all, Christ did offer mercy to a thief. Now he's talking about Jesus Christ. That means here Malu is bringing some type of Christianity. Even when he was nailed to the cross and Christ may offer mercy to me also at the last moment. Even see, you see, he is asking like he want to repent even now. He is saying at the last moment, definitely Jesus Christ is going to help me out. Therefore, let, therefore, let uh, me rest myself and let me calm my mind. So he want to sleep and calm his mind. He don't want to be disturbed by this, this type of thoughts. So in the meantime, so the horse courser has already taken the horse and he returned back. So the so re-enters the horse courser all wet crying. See, all his body and all everything is wet because already Foster has told him not to ride the horse in water. But even then, this person didn't listen to Foster's and he ride the horse in the water. Now, what happens? You see, the horse courser is saying, Alas, alas, Dr. Faustian. Now, see, again, he cannot pronounce properly. He's saying, Faustian. Kotha, mas. Let me see, say, Mas Dr. Lopez, when never seen a doctor, had given me a purgation. He passed me for forty dollars. I shall never see them more. But yet, I like an ass as I was. I would not be ruled by him, for he bade me I should I should ride him into no water. Now, I thinking my horse had some quality, real quality, that he would not have had me know of. I like a I like a virtuous youth ride him into the deep pond at the town's end. I was no sooner in the middle of the pond, but my horse vanished away, and I sat upon a bun bottle of hay, never so near drowning in my life. But I will seek out my doctor and have my forty dollars again, or I will make in the dearest horse. Oh wonder, is this snipper snapper? Do you hear? You you have us. Where is your master? So see, this person was very much greedy. You know, already Foster has said not to take the horse in the uh, into the water. But he has taken. He thought that, that if I take the horse in the water, the horse may ha may have some special quality which Foster don't want me to know about. And he was very greedy. And after that, when he went into the middle of the pond, ultimately his horse vanished. And he was sitting in the in the middle of the pond with a bundle of hay on it. So that has happened, and he came crying to Doctor Foster. 
and Mephistopheles was there and um, he was shouting for Dr. Dr. Faustus like Mephistopheles why sir what would you you cannot speak with him now no 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 you cannot disturb him you cannot disturb Dr. Faustus now because he's sleeping at the, at the right moment you cannot you go away from here of course sir but I will speak with him again he's saying no I got to speak with him Mephistopheles why he is fast asleep no he went to sleep come some other time you better go now you come after some time don't disturb him now horse courses no i will speak with him now or i will i'll break him his class windows about his ears he's going no i'm going to make lots of noise i'm going to break the glasses so that he rise up from his sleep or he wakes up so he's saying mephistopheles i tell thee he has not slept these eight nights so mephistopheles is requesting him and saying that this person fosters has not slept for eight nights let him sleep now you better come afterwards horse course and he had not slept last slept this eight eight weeks i will speak with him i don't matter whatever he, whether he slept or not but i got to speak with him right now let will see where he is fast asleep go and see then he's sleeping out there you can you can see there horse course hey this is he god said here doc, master doctor master doctor my doc, my master doctor Faustian. forty dollars forty dollars for a bottle of ash yes, yes, you went near fosters and you were shouting like anything like you have given me nothing a, a bundle of hay only for forty dollars which you have taken so he means to say that his horse vanished away from there mephistopheles why thou see he here he hears thee not so mephistopheles is saying to the horse course like can you see that he doesn't hear you he's fallen asleep he's in deep slumber you can say horse course are so ho ho so ho ho so he's making some type of noise near his ears going near his ears and shouting so ho ho so ho ho no will you not wake you will not wake i will make you wake here i go because before going i got to make you wake up so he pulls away he pulls the leg of Faustus. alas i am undone what shall i do so when he pulls the leg of dr Faustus, it seems that the leg comes out from there and it is in the hand of the of the horse courser Faustus. and Faustus shouts like oh my leg my leg help me mr phyllis call the officers my leg my leg now they are all is sort of magic you know Mr. Phyllis, come, come, villain, to the constable. Come on, I am going to take you. See what you have done to Dr. Faustus. Hoskor says, oh Lord, sir, let me go. I will give you $40 more. So he is really scared and he is saying that, okay, I have done a great offense. Okay, I am going to give you more $40, but better leave me, let me go home. Mr. Phyllis, where me leave? Okay, the Mr. Phyllis is saying, okay, then you give me the $40 and get, get out from here. Horse I have none about me. At the present moment, the horse courser is saying, at the present moment, I don't have. Come to my ostray. Ostray means inn. Come to my inn and I will give them you. So definitely I'm going to give you, but at least leave me. Mephistopheles, be gone quickly. Then go away quickly. Go away quickly from here and get your money. So the horse courser runs away. So after that, when he runs away, Faustus, he comes back to his original position, you know. Faustus, what is, what is he gone? Oh, he is gone. Farewell, he, Faustus, had leg is again. So again, the leg goes to his original position. And the horse courser, I take it, a bottle of hay for his liver. Well, this trick shall cost him $40 more. So ultimately, another $40 he's going to get from a horse courser. So in the meantime, enter Wagner. So Wagner, he comes and he was shouting like, now, how now, Wagner? What the news will with thee? So when Wagner comes, Foster asks, what about the news? Do you have any news? So the Wagner says, sir, the Duke of Venant doth earnestly entreat your company. So he's saying that the Duke of Venant wants to meet you. Urgently, Faustus is saying, the Duke of Fenard, an honorable gentleman, to whom I must be so niggard of my cunning. Oh, he's saying, oh, oh, that person, he is very, he is a good gentleman. I must make an abundant display of my magic power before him. That means, so he's saying after that, come, Mephistopheles, let us go to him. Come on, let us go to the to the Duke of Fenard. So that was up to Act 4, Scene 4. Next day, I am going to do you, uh, I am going to do act 4 scene 5 after that i'm going to complete this act so go through it properly if you don't understand you can ring me up also no problem at any time you can ring me thank you stay fine stay safe